Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today I'm back to the Rise Coffee, the mushroom coffee substitute. Uh, I'll be drinking that for a while because the old stomach is acting up again. So, anyway, moving on. Today's high temperature is going to be 80. Not too bad. But I won't be doing any work in the garden again because I have to take my mom to a doctor's appointment. So, that's the way it goes. Um, sometimes we have other responsibilities, even though we have our own things that we need to do. Um, sometimes other people's priorities take a lead. So, um, looks like it's going to be a nice day. It's very humid today. Um, because we've had quite a bit of rain. So, of course, all that wet rain is in the ground and permeating up to the atmosphere. So, my daughter's going with us today to the doctor's appointment. She wanted to go along. And that'll be some welcome company. So, um, I won't have a lot of time today to do much of anything else. But... I may bring Mom here for a couple days, just to hang out, if she wants to. So that might be a nice thing for her and for me. And I forgot my creamer, so I have to go get it. So today's creamer, I hope you can hear me, is going to be oat milk. Uh, creamer, and it's the flavor coffee cake. Gotta shake it up. Gotta shake oat milk up. So it's not real hard to make oat milk, but the problem with homemade oat milk is it separates. I've made it before. I've even made oat milk yogurt, which was good. But, like I said, the milk does separate, so. I think there's ways, though, where you can keep it from separating. I thought I saw a video about that quite a while back, but I don't remember what the process was. I'd have to look it up again. I know it was something on YouTube, but I don't remember what it was. So I have to stir this pretty well, just to get it to dissolve, but it's not hard. Alright, let's give it a taste, and I'm sure it'll taste the same as last time. So cheers. The mushrooms that they put in this coffee substitute, it's also chicory. But the mushrooms they put in there, like lion's mane, is supposed to be healing for the gut. And uh, it, it's a bunch of different mushrooms. It's not just one. Now, I grew that big lion's mane mushroom, and it was really weird. <laughs> it had a very sweet flavor, and a very, it was chewy, but it was fluffy at the same time. I think I let it grow a little too long, but yeah, it was it was very weird. I don't know if it was worth the effort to grow it, um, but it was a fun experiment. So, all right, I will meet you over there in a second, and we'll go over the budget book. Right, here I am back at the budget book. So yesterday I didn't spend any money. I'm trying to cut back on spending. So, and the spending I'm doing, I'm trying to keep it at a low spend. So, but sometimes there's things that you forgot about that you still need. So, then you have to go ahead and spend the money for it. Especially if it's to finish a project. And, um, 
Well, my big project right now is the garden, so as you all know. So I'm still plugging away at that and working at that, and hopefully I'll be getting it done within the next couple weeks. I still have to change around some of the um, fencing, and I have to take out some of the veggies, veggie plants that are no longer producing and get rid of those and sort of get ahead of the game so that in spring I won't have to do that. Now I'm leaving in my kale and my chard. That's still viable. And I may plant some lettuce because uh, it's getting, it's going to be getting cooler and by the time everything sprouts up it should be good to go as far as the lettuce goes. But we'll see. I may just put the whole garden to bed um, after the kale and the uh, chard are done and not plant anything else for the season. I don't know yet. But anyway, I have uh, smaller plans for next year and as far as what I'm going to be planting and doing and rearranging. So I'm hoping to get that all done by the time the cold weather sets in because, um, you know, when you have arthritis and things like that, the cold weather isn't the best thing to be working outside in. So I want to get all that done and just be done with it. And then I can concentrate on getting the inside of the house organized again. Um, with all the purging and downsizing and rearranging and, you know, using what I have and getting rid of what I don't need and what I don't want. Um, it's a messy process because you have to drag things out and you have to make decisions and sometimes that requires you to relocate things. So um, that's, yeah, it's a very messy pro uh, process. So... I don't know. I, I guess it doesn't have to be. But sometimes what happens is you start in one section and then you realize, okay, I'm keeping this, but I'm not using it because uh, of where it's located. And then it's like, I want to put it over here. So then you have to go to over here and you have to drag stuff out there and then you've got that stuff sitting there. So at least that's what happens to me, you know. I mean, I could put the things I'm trying to relocate in a box, but then I still have to deal with it at some point in the future, so I'd rather just get it over and done with. Anyway, I don't know, those of you that are downsizing and doing whatever it is you're doing, do you find that to be true for you too? Or do you have a certain process that works really well for, for yourself? So, okay, well, I'm not planning on spending any money today, but um, I don't know, we may go out to lunch, um, my daughter and my mom and I, we may go have some lunch somewhere, so if they want to do that, then uh, that's what we're going to do. So, all right. Well, that's it for my budget book chat today, and uh, I'll see what else is going on today besides taking mom to her appointment. Okay, I'm back, I think. <laughs> Lots going on over here. Every time I sit down to, to start this video, something else is going on. Either Lizzie's barking or, you know, it's just like that. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, I, I bought this, I get this at Dollar Tree, this aloe vera, and it comes in mango and pineapple. And they say aloe vera is good for the stomach. So uh, I buy this and I drink a bottle of it every day. You know, I don't know. I mean, of course, it's not pure aloe vera juice because pure aloe vera juice tastes awful. But this is good. It has um, 10 calories, that's all. And it has vitamins A, C, E, and zinc. So... 
it's more at um, at Walmart. They don't have this kind, but their aloe vera juice is more. So I just get it at the Dollar Tree, and I don't know if the price is going to go up or not. You never know. All the prices are going up. Which leads me to what I wanted to talk a little bit about. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about how insane everything is. You know, I mean, we've never had to live like this. Where you're worried about what your government is going to do. What, you know, where they're going to lead us. Are they going to lead us into some conflict that, you know... We we're going to have to send our young ones off to, and I mean, that's happened before in the past, but it, yeah, it's just, you know, having to stock up on all this food, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just gotten out of hand, it's gotten ridiculous, and it makes me realize that we're really kind of on our own when it comes to taking care of ourselves, even with health care, you know, um, it's gotten to be such a huge conglomerate with so many people, and of course now we have millions more added to the mix. Um, and the poor physicians, they just don't even know what to do with themselves anymore. So a lot of physicians are actually retiring and leaving the field, or they're going into private practice so they don't have to deal with uh, quite so much of the insurance. But, yeah, I mean, I've been thinking a lot about that, how insane everything has gotten and how out of whack. And it's really a shame. It really is. Um, you know, the old timers used to talk about the good old days. <laughs> but I, I think the good old days have gone. So, anyway. Yeah, and I, I can't even understand why people keep even thinking about putting or leaving these people in charge back in charge. I can't, I can't fathom that. I mean, to me, that is beyond ridiculous. You know, if you do a bad job, you should be ousted. And that's my opinion. But, you know, I think the only person that really, or the only people that really get away with, you know, not doing their job right are weather forecasters because they're pretty iffy. You know, they say, oh, it's going to rain and it's 100 degrees and then, you know, oh, it's going to be this, it's going to be that, and half of them are wrong a lot of the time. So anyway, yeah, there's, there's lots going on here at my house. I've got mom staying here with me for a few days. Um, She's not bouncing back quite as fast after her hospital stay, so she needs a little bit more help. So I took her home for a couple days, and then um, she, you know, she needed a little more help. So I brought her home, and she's staying with me, and we're just kind of hanging out. So I don't have too much opportunity to, uh, to vlog in my videos because I'm always doing something or trying to keep it quiet because um, there's a lot of napping going on. And that includes me. So, but yeah, my dogs were super excited when she came over because she used to come over my house quite a lot, but now that she can't drive anymore, um, if she comes over, I have to go get her, which is fine with me. Uh, I like hanging out. So, but, uh, so that's what I've been up to. And then I haven't been feeling 100% either. So, um, it makes it hard for me to work on my projects, which I've always got a million of those going on. So everything has kind of come to a screeching halt. Um... What's messy is staying messy. What's undone is staying undone. And it's going to be like that for a little bit yet. Until things go back to normal, whatever normal is anymore. It's refreshing. I like it. 
So make sure you drink enough and stay hydrated, especially you folks that are in the super hot areas. I know some of you are still having 100 degree and plus weather. Uh, today it's really warm here. It's, it's 90 something. And um, I did my morning coffee and my budget book uh, actually a couple days ago. Uh, yesterday I wasn't able to post because I had a whole lot of stuff going on so um, but yeah today it's it's I think 96 but I think we're gonna have a storm front coming in and next week it's going to be cooler so I'm hoping fingers crossed that it'll be cool enough that I can continue my my uh, work in the garden and finally get that done um, you know, when a, dra when a project drags on too long, you kind of almost lose interest in it. And I think that's how a lot of people just have a lot of unfinished projects. Um, they've just lost interest in what they're doing because sometimes it just takes too long. So that's what's been going on with me. <clears throat> and uh, I know some of you out there have had some health things going on and um, I, I do miss you when you've always been commenting and I don't see your comments anymore. Then it's like, oh, I wonder what happened to so-and-so. So, and then hopefully you pop up again at some point and it's like, yeah, I've been sick and, you know, and then, um, I'm, I'm just happy when everybody's recovered. So to those of you that have had health issues, um, uh, I hope God sends you many blessings and helps you heal and uh, recover and get much better. So that is my uh, prayer for you and that the rest of you stay healthy and happy and, um, you know, don't have any tragic things going on in your life. So, all right, my friends, well, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to come on and say hello, and I know a lot of you uh, get concerned when I don't post every day. Sometimes, you know, it happens where I can't. Uh, usually I'll, I'll put something in the community um, notes, but I, I didn't even have time to do that. So, um, anyway, yep. I want to wish you all abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share. And thanks for watching.